Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about the convergence of this series that is the sum of inverse square of natural numbers and uh, first we are going to prove that this series is convergent and after that what we are going to do is we are going to find out what the value of this is uh, based on how Euler computed it. So let's get started with the first part. So this part is less than equal to 1. This part is less than equal to 2 into 1 by 2 square. Since 1 by 3 square is less than 1 by 2 square, these four terms can be written as these are less than 4 times 1 by 4 square using the same logic and so on. So what we are going to get is S is less than equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus till infinity and we know that this sums to 2. So S is less than 2 hence this is convergent. Now we are going to look at the Taylor series of sin x and this can be written as x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power 4 x to the power 5 by 5 factorial minus x to the power 7 by 7 factorial and so on. Now if we take sin x by x on the left hand side this is going to become 1 minus x square by 3 factorial plus x to the power 4 by 5 factorial minus x to the power 6 by 7 factorial and so on. Now we can see that the left hand side is sin x by x and x cannot be 0 here and the right hand side the polynomial. Now looking at the left hand side we can predict something about this root. 1 by x cannot be 0 since x is positive and x cannot be uh, 0 and sin x can be 0 at n pi. where n belongs to integers. Hence, we can write this polynomial px is equal to 1 minus x by pi and 1 plus x by pi. Since minus pi and plus pi is the root of this equation and the constant term is 1. So, similarly we can write x by 2 pi 1 plus x by 2 pi and so on. Now using a into b a plus b into a minus b what we can write is now looking at this polynomial what can be the coefficient of x square? So we can see that x square should not be multiplied by any x related terms to have the coefficient uh, like to have x square in it and then it should be multiplied with all the 1 okay in the other term. So what we can write is coefficient of x square again comparing the coefficient of x square from here we can see that the coefficient of x square is minus 1 by 3 factorial that is minus 1 by 6. So we can write so how is pi involved and we always have seen that pi is involved uh, wherever a circle is involved. And based on this logic, there is a very nice video of 3 blue 1 brown where they explain that the sum of this series is equal to pi square by 6 because of some logic uh, that is related to a circle. What they do is they take this theorem let's say we have 1 by d square 
we are going to break it into 1 by d1 square plus 1 by d2 square using the same theorem then again break the same thing into 1 by d11 square plus 1 by d12 square plus 1 by d21 square plus 1 by d22 square and then again break this into two more parts let's say we have a small circle where this is origin and this is a point whose distance is uh, let's say d as the diameter and this length is 1 how am i uh, going to break 1 by d square such that it's divided into 2 is construct another circle whose radius is d whose diameter would be 2d and then construct a line such that this intersects these two circles at this point then we can say that this is a right angle triangle and the distance along the perimeter of this point is of length 1 and distance of this point from the perimeter is of length 1 now we can say that 1 by d square is actually equal to 1 by d1 square plus 1 by d2 square then we are again going to construct another bigger triangle of radius equal to 2d and then again x take its center and connect these two points so we'll get four points and so on these points will be equidistant uh, since this is 90 degree and if this process is repeated uh, by a large number of times what we are going to get is something like this uh, since the large circle would become like a straight line so we are going to get first at a distance of 1 then at a distance of 2 then again at a distance of 2 since this is origin and this is the point that we were talking about and so on now based on the distance of origin and these points we can write this since we broke the multiple times Now since the semi-perimeter of the circle was 1 and it was d, so what we can write is d is equal to 2 by 5. So we will get Now we will add 1 by 2 square, 1 by 4 square and subtract those since those are the missing terms. So we can write s minus s by 4 by taking 2 square common is equal to pi square by 8 which implies s is equal to pi square by 6. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.